Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. How protective do we really need to be of our children? And just how dependent are they on us? What would happen if children were actually left to live alone together? Ten boys from Bushy in Hertfordshire were chosen to live by themselves in this house for five days. Aged 11 and 12, none of them had met beforehand. The house and garden were filled with toys, games, books and paints. The kitchen was stocked with food. Cameras were put in the bedrooms to monitor the boys at night, and during the day there was a camera crew in the house. The crew didn't speak to the boys and only intervened for reasons of safety. The first the boys saw of their new home was when they arrived at 10.30 one Monday morning. There was a bell the boys could ring at any time if they needed help. They could speak to the production team, a nurse, their parents, or to a child psychiatrist who each had met beforehand. They were also free to leave the house at any time. Upstairs, there were two bedrooms. The larger one had six beds. The smaller one had four. Ten cameras had been left out for the boys to use. George was the first to take a picture. There were also ten water pistols. It was Daniel who got hold of the biggest. Once the ice was broken, everyone began to introduce themselves. Then it was time to check out each other's schools. What school do you go to? Where she meets. Do you live near your school? Yeah. Where? What road? Beechcroft Road. Really? Mine! My home! The boys couldn't believe the freedom they'd been given, and for the first hour, they just ran riot. It's a tranny! <laughs> Michael was taken to task for throwing sticky popcorn all over the carpet. In the garden. When we leave, in the hall, we'll put our names. Garden, but not forgotten. Like they do in the subway at Queen's. George! But soon everybody was trashing the place, as if to see what it would take to make an adult intervene. Bye. 
By the evening, the mess they'd made was already bothering them. In this house, we never expected it to be like that, but I'm really upset that we had like trashed it so badly. We were trying to explore everything at once, weren't we? Yeah, I know. And got too carried away in ourselves. Are those walls are just really burning me? What are they doing there? Just really, but nothing. It's just sitting there being black and all horrible. Oh, do anything with it. Give it up, scrape the thing. I can't you. scrape it off. You know, yes, you can. Just try it. Look. Off. That's why I need the other knife. Yeah, give me that Where's that other knife? Are you this is how desperate we are. It doesn't work. Oh, that's still wet. Come here, Waspy. Yes! <laughs> give me something to wipe it with. In the absence of parental discipline, the boys decided to restore order themselves. Um, well, if you need, like, yes, yes. Okay, I see no sense. Right, I see. All oh, think of one person in your head who you're going to vote for. Can you, you vote for yourself? Vote for yourself. No. You can't vote for yourself. I'm thinking. Okay. Oh wait, I right. Who voted for um, Robert? Robert, yeah. yeah. Who, one voted, who voted for Daniel? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> who voted for George? Three people, that's healthy, that's healthy. Who voted for me? Oh, who voted for George? George. 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 You're right. Yeah, then I reckon yeah. George. Yeah, because George. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, that really hurt my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I've got. Call me. I've got just came. Came. So just came. By electing George as their leader, the boys had created their own version of a parent figure. And George's first task was to gather up everyone's complaints, almost all of which turned out to be directed at Michael. Sam, you ran into him, Michael ran into him on bike. Uh, Daniel, Daniel has been ran into a bike as well. Yeah, but that was an accident. Was it? Yeah, but you should watch where you go and you should just well. ride into people. Did you ride into Michael? No. Someone she shouted Michael. OK, Michael's, I'm going to make a claim for Michael. Here he goes again with his little pencil. It's not the blooming court thing. It's going to make a claim for Mike. Look. What, what if you come up to me and throw a rugby ball in my yeah. face? And you threw helmets at me twice. Exactly. Hey, 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 hang on. After the meeting, most of the boys went upstairs to bed. Paul and Mark chose to sleep outside. Oh, oh that's just evil. Time for sweeties. It's kind of like trying We've to... We've got one load of chewing gum. Have we? Don't go to sleep with it in your mouth. And Luke and Michael decided to sleep downstairs. Oh. Hi. Very I'm asleep. Nope, I'll sleep up here. Yeah, up here. Stay still. It's the morning of the second day, and after only a few hours sleep, the boys are already getting up. There still hasn't been an organized meal, and sugar has been the main source of sustenance. It's an Eskimo. Futile attempts at cleaning the walls are still going on. Do a bit more later, we need to let it dry. Yeah, I'll totally agree. I agree. I'm getting rubber by. Everyone had completed a cooking course before the week began. Though at this stage, you wouldn't know it. There were two vegetarians in the house. One was Sim. The other was Luke. Cheese is the new cheese. By midday, sheer hunger had pushed most of the boys into culinary creativity. Anyway, it's me and Michael's. I'll go get some sweets for you. Get a board and poke it. Oh, great. Someone's <laughs> blown up a pot noodle. 
Now that looks a bit like puke. Is that, is that... Although the boys were getting on well, the big underlying issue was still about who was doing the cleaning. Whoa! Some people in this house got a problem because they want to avoid doing all the work. I oh, will stop this morning. At least I will. Send them all the tomorrow. Yes, you send them all the tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll do more. Tomorrow and the day after then. And you've got to cook everyone's food. You clean this room. I can't clean this room by myself. In an hour you could. Yeah, in an hour. I'm not going to waste my time it's best like fun, not boring. Well, you're not meant to, like, not do anything. I, I didn't say I, was, I wasn't going to do anything. I didn't do something. Well, start doing it then. Yeah, I've got a headache right now. God, everyone's done some work. Yeah, and I am. When? Soon. Soon's not soon enough. Well, I've had is chocolates and ice cream. Mm. I didn't even have breakfast. Didn't even have, I didn't have lunch really. Because when we cook, it's horrible. What? When we cook our food, it's disgusting. What food? When we cook food. Ours isn't. <laughs> Mine is. Oh, no, not again. Not too sweet. Early in the evening, Michael decided to sleep in the tent with George, but this only made them a sitting target for the rest of the group. By the second evening, several of the boys were saying they were feeling homesick. It was at this point that Sim asked to see his parents. Despite his homesickness, Sim decided to stay in the house. George, who was still trying to be a leader, came inside to look after him. Out. 
Because I have to. Because I have to. Since there wasn't enough room in the tent for three, George and Michael decided to keep watch over Sim while he tried to get some sleep. Night, Sim. I've got a couple of ghost stories, but I forgot now. Pardon? I know a couple of ghost stories, but I forgot them all now. And it is a really scary one. It's not a ghost, but it is a ghost. I got it off a film. What is it? Exorcist. Exorcist, yeah. Seen that? Have you? Yeah, it's scary, isn't it? Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it just turns his head around. Yeah. What? Yeah, of course. Hello. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm turning my walkie talkie on. Okay, I'll turn mine off. You're right. Yeah. Is it this noise? No. Do you absolutely have to? Yeah. 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 Well, sort of. It's all part of the national curriculum. I'm so sorry. I can you go inside, please? Why? Yeah. Do you want to punch? Yeah. I'll be going for it. Because you know I mean that. Oh, my God. Oh. They're eavesdropping. Can you get to sleep? Oh, yeah. We need on to the tent. I need to smack Daniel in the arm. Dude. <laughs> Please keep the noise down. Sim is actually yeah, sleeping. Man. Sim is trying to sleep. No, he is actually sleeping. At one in the morning, Michael had gone back into the house and left George to sleep alone in the tent with Sim. The mess and lack of organization was still bothering everyone, and there was still lots of argument about who should do what.
The boys were now halfway through their stay, and this was the nearest most of them had come to having a wash and changing their clothes. Some were also beginning to talk openly about how much they were looking forward to going home. Saturday morning. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. No. I don't mind. Just a bit, maybe. Four, four. Oh, that's a lot of me. Five! Luke and Paul, together with Daniel, were emerging as the most assertive boys in the house, and they decided it was time for a communal meal. The seating order was to be a powerful expression of the pecking order in the house. No, sit here, sit here. Right, yeah. Yeah, because then you can get yeah, it's like the first meal we're all going to have, like, together. Yeah. I know, yeah. cook by me, Mark. Where's the smart ketchup? There you go, sit down the table. I know, I know, I know. Well, I'm sitting there. Who is it, eh? Wasn't I like just sitting there and yeah. I just got out to get the sandwich? He was. The me and he Daniel was. across there. No, you're not. You ain't sitting here. We're sitting here. Yeah, man, I sit, I sit there. I'm sitting there. Is there anyone it? sitting at the end? No. Well, somebody should be. But three, four, five, six. No, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting here. I'm Paul's sitting, sitting the there. And Mark's the sitting there. Oh, Paul, come No, you're not. We've all reserved these bloody seats. Because they're, they're, they're guess the cook's guests to one of us. Where the hell am I At the end, yeah. someone's sitting there. there. No, they're not. No one's actually yeah. sitting there. There is your drink. Who's the other one? I want a black one. I want a black one. Yeah, that's your place. No one else is sitting there. Pure orange juice. Pure. Yeah, well, that's them. I like mine so much. Where's the rest of the sweet? Oh, you're draining it. Burgers need to turn them over now. Hallelujah. Where's. Where's the other gloves, other gloves, other gloves, other gloves, other gloves? Oh, it's not going off. Is there anything in the oven? Yep, that's it. Oh. oh, well, I'll have that one. I think we need to put a bit of oil on these to make them a bit more succulent. We need to put curry liquid on. No, don't you dare. Oh, good. <gasps> what are you doing? Is that our sauce or something? Yeah, that's the sauce. Go away! Stop complaining and go away, you stupid little freak. Who Come over here and go to sleep. 
Ik roep baby. Naughty baby. Ik heb een beetje baby. Zoek staan! Kijk naar Leo, ik roep baby. Kijk naar Leo. <laughs> An hour after the boys had finished their first group meal, Sim was still washing up. By agreeing to do the clearing up for all ten boys, Sim had now finally established his place in the group. Michael had been labelled as troublesome ever since spreading popcorn everywhere on the first day. And whatever he did now, the label stuck. Lock him out! <laughs> Shut the door so we can't get out. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to lock it up. Yeah! Retract him! Push him up! <laughs> right, Michael! By the evening of the third day, the group had divided into two gangs, the noisier boys in the big bedroom and the quieter boys in the small one. Sim decided he'd prefer to be in the smaller room. The boys had slept very little during the week, and apart from their one group meal, they'd mostly eaten cereal and sweets. <laughs> Last night you nearly broke my nose. No, I don't the atmosphere was becoming hysterical and aggressive. Almost everything had now been destroyed. Michael was made the scapegoat, and his increasingly strange behaviour made him an easy target.
broken the broom, it's broken the fridge potato. He's broken one of the chairs. He's wrecked the board. He's broken one of the chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He busted the um, triangle for that. He <laughs> threw that outside. And he busted that food for the tennis table. table. He threw and the basketball the, on the roof. And he made the tennis table collapse. He let the um, ice cream out and stuff. He nicked everyone's cameras out of their drawers and smashed them all. Yeah. Oh, he's he's a camera. massive, massive tiger. Yeah. No, I don't. I wait till just before we leave, you beat him up. Oh, I'll wait till we get outside, then beat him up. Everything we're going to clear up will be messed up in like five minutes. So there's no point. I wish you could have beat Michael out. <laughs> <laughs> so go, let's put hedgehogs on our slate and poke them. <laughs> yeah, let's go and do that. We'll probably get a few blue spikes in our head. Yeah, see if you can break the hedgehogs as well. <laughs> everything else is broken. Not everything. Yeah, everything. Name one thing. Speechless. <laughs> Oi, stop it. We're going we'll in the garden, it's the only place where it isn't a mess. Probably isn't. It's the only place where Michael is. Daniel's probably gone looking for the wheel in the back garden. Why the hell have you got more money? If he wants some, every time. By the afternoon, the boys decided they wanted to speak to Dr. Scott, the programme's child psychiatrist, about Michael. Group, let's see. Show of hands, who wants to have a meeting? That's your finger. Where's Michael? It's Michael. I'm on the hoover. Right, okay, <laughs> fine. All right, okay, let's go into the bedroom then. Oh, 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 no. I think there's one. Go into the biggest one, because that's my bed, and so I... Move, 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 move. I'm on my bed. In the meeting, the boys initially all turned against Michael, who watched on from his bed. He denied he'd been responsible for breaking everything. Eventually, the others agreed they were also to blame. Dr. Scott suggested the boys try to work together more as a group. The meeting over, Michael remained curled up in his bed. Michael! Michael's playing, all right? Because we're yeah. this group. Yeah, we're a group. Oh. Yeah, let's play manhunt. It's well fun. Oh. Come on, trust me, it's wicked. Do you want to play manfight? Do you want to play manhunt? No, I want to play manhunt. Because Monopoly's not all about a game, is okay, it? Okay, so we're all going to play. Say this is a vape, but it's not. I mean, I'm polling. It's like in the bin Shh, Everyone be quiet. Well, we're playing manhunt. Yeah, it's like a pub. The attempts to organise a group game turned instead into something more aggressive. Hunt the Hedgehog. Oh, did you see that move? Did you see that move? Inside it, inside it, come away. Did you see that move? Yeah, I saw that move. Yes. Yeah. 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 Watch it move, watch it. kill some hedgehogs. Can't hear it, stupid. Boom it up, boom it up. At this point, the film crew decided to intervene. At 10.30, Robert, Sim, Alex and George, in the smaller bedroom, decided to have an early night. But the rest of the group, in the bigger bedroom, were determined to keep them awake. Why can't you finish off masturbating? Oh, 
Robert. Thanks for the advice, Robert. <laughs> Robert took on the role of defending the boys in the quieter room. been declared between the two rooms. On the morning of the final day, it was the five boys in the smaller bedroom who woke first. Having been kept up for most of the night, they decided to get their own back on the other five boys in the big bedroom. Was Still in bed, we can go and nick the duvet. But no, we can't because then they'll just leave you back. <laughs> There's no, no point. Like if we close our door and then block it with something. Yeah. Yeah, with the beds. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you! Pleasure! My thanks, mate, not today! <laughs> You have it. Some surrenders. Okay, I swear. Some surrenders. Throughout the week, loyalties had been constantly shifting. With Sam's defection, it was now six against four. He's sorting out quite fast. No, because they're not just taking. I know, are we? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Are you not? Can you get lost? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, 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 who don't let us get to sleep because they want to be cool by staying up. 
All we wanted is a fun week. Meet new people. What's it earned up in? Blooming Hell's Angels. So I'm painting my t-shirt. Well done. I can't stand this house now. Uh-oh. Paul, you're not funny. Your mum's funny. Although upset, Robert chose not to ring the bell for adult help. You're right, Rob. Yeah. Is he too faced? Yeah, probably. They were now in a state of siege, waiting for the week to end. Get wet, all right? You woke oh, us up really early in the morning, so you're just gonna yeah, pack. You've done yeah, every night. Night. Three nights in a row, you woke us up 60 yeah. times. We can't yeah. get to sleep. Yeah, you smell. You smell. Yeah, 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 but we didn't wake you up, guys. Yeah, you've been coming and going. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. smell. Yeah. Have the bike pull. Oh, you have it. You woke us up. It wasn't me. Was me? You opened the door and got caught, for God's sake. You can't say it wasn't you. Did I? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I'm all ears, Sam. I want to be your friend. I do. Oh, yeah. You've turned Sim against me. Alex, please. I'm some more friend. Come on. It doesn't have to be like this. Yes, it does. Get out. Mm. I will. You're my friend, Alex. Huh? You're my friend. Don't let me out. You're my friend. Derek. Robert, are you my friend? Are you my friend? Are you my friend, Robert? Robbie, come on. Can we put this all behind us? <laughs> come on, we can Sort be friends up. again. Turn over a new leaf. <laughs> no, right. shut up. Shut up. I've already covered all my closing cream. Do she could have an apple fight. Orange bike, come on, let's go. Oh, let's go trash and place a bit more. Oh, what's it? Chopped tomatoes. Better than it was. <laughs> 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 Ha ha ha! 
You promised all that! Oh. <laughs> 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 no, the On Saturday morning, five days after entering the house, the boys rejoined their parents. During the children's stay, their parents had been able to see a live transmission of what had been going on. Why did you trash the place? Oh, because we just got annoyed. Annoyed with what? Everything, basically. Especially Michael. Why? Well, Michael started just... the paint first. <laughs> yeah, I know. Did you clean your teeth at all? I learnt Lee, go see the wet mat. What an experience. Really, really well. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. That's yeah. Arm. Yeah. Well, him and... Yeah. It looked a real mess. Thank you. <laughs> Proud of that wave? Yep. Yeah. Good. That's George. I never know who they are. Did you make anything? Did you just break things? I've seen everything. Oh, Look, Isn't our lovely? How could you do this? What's this with the ice cream here? <laughs> How could you do this? And don't think if you drop one piece of paper on the patio, you don't get clipped round the ear off still. <laughs> oh my god, Mum, look at the cereal on the floor. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Look at it round there. Oh, that's so cool. Sure, do that one. 